Epiphora or watering can be very embarrassing for patients. Let us try to understand what Epiphora means, what are its causes and how to manage them. Epiphora is watering of the eye due to overflow of tears. We all know the normal tears are produced from the accessory lacrimal glands and as well as the lacrimal gland, the main lacrimal gland. The normal drainage of the tears needs a good lacrimal pump, normal lid position, normal functioning punctum, canaliculus, lacrimal sac, as well as the nasolacrimal duct. Any pathology within any of these structures can lead to watering, that is epiphora. Watering itself can be very embarrassing for some patients. Some of the grandparents may be asked by their grandkids why are they crying uh, when actually they are not crying. The watering sometimes can cause blurring of vision and sometimes difficulty with driving. What are the causes for epiphora or watering? We can divide them mainly into the following reasons like any obstruction at the level of punctum or an obstruction at the level of canaliculus or nasolacrimal sac or nasolacrimal duct. The common reasons for obstruction at the level of punctum are punctal stenosis which can be due to any inflammation or infection. Canaliculus can be obstructed because of inflammation within the canaliculus which is called as canaliculitis. Any nasolacrimal sac pathology like any obstruction due to mass or any narrowing of the nasolacrimal duct itself either congenital or acquired can lead to the overflow of tears. The position of the lid margin is very very important in the normal drainage of tears. Any malposition of the eyelid like ectropion which is outturning of the lid margin or entropion which is interning of the lid margin or just the laxity of the lid which can be ejaculated lead to watering because it effectively decreases the drainage of tears. Lacrimal pump failure itself can be one of the reasons for watering. Any irritation within the eye can lead to watering which is uh, reflex tearing or hyperlacrimation. For example, any foreign body in the eye or the interning of the eyelashes which is called as trichiasis or any corneal ulcer or conjunctivitis can all lead to watering. The management of the epiphora involves treating the underlying reason. If there is any obvious reflex irritation or any pathology within the eye which is causing increased production of tears needs to be treated. Apart from that, the surgical management includes treating the underlying cause. For example, in case of nasolacrimal duct obstruction, we can consider dacrocystoronostomy which involves creating a communication between the lacrimal sac and the nasal mucosa. If there is a problem with the lid position like ectropion, entropion or lid laxity, we may want to do the lid tightening procedures like lateral tarsal strip or lateral wedge resection. Finally, if the pathology is in the punctum, for example, if there is narrowing of the punctum that is punctal stenosis, then punctoplasty can be considered to treat. So, a complaint of watering by a patient should not be taken very lightly. It is something which can be very embarrassing for the patient and it's very important to treat epiphera to make the eyes happy as well as 
patient happy.